How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Day Dave and this is a map update for Farming Simulator 22 on the mod map Black Mountain Montana. And currently there is a history of a new save game being required. Please take note of where you started your save game in comparison to the change logs available. If your current save game is prior to the change logs that requires a new save game, then do not update your save file unless you're willing to potentially break your current save. This is for change log 1.5.0.1 and it reads, New save game needed. Will now work with premium expansion, new animals, new fill types added, replaced animals, pens, new sawmill, new placeables, trees replaced, removed recycling of waste, reworked, removed starting equipment. And that is it. Now I'm going to go a little bit out of order than what the changelog reads and there's going to be a reason for that. So starting with new animals. So if we go here to our chicken uh chicken pasture right here you will see we have chicks chickens more chicks roosters and ducks and ducklings so that's awesome let's see we have another pen i believe it's just around the corner over here right here is our pigsty you can see all the piglets and porkers and boars and so on. Love it. Next one I'm going to read is replaced animal pens. So these are going to be like the non-standard animal pens. And we should be able to take any modified non-giant uh, standard pens. So we can't use these pens here. But we should be able to take modified pens that we get from the mod hub and place those down and get the same results uh, as if we were using the pens here on the map so just to test that out okay we got calves and they are visible perfect now if you use one of the giant standard ones what tends to happen is that the animals that you put in there are invisible you can't do anything with them they still work they still produce stuff you still have to feed them water them so on and so forth you just can't see them so that is the difference. So you got to use either the pens that are built on the map or pens that have been modified from the mod hub. Next one is new sawmill. Well, the sawmill is right here. We go here and check it out. Okay, okay. Purchase it for 150000 See what we can get out of it. We've got wood planks, wood beams, and more planks from wood chips. And we get a whole bunch of outputs. So we get things like the main component plus wood chips plus bark plus sawdust. So that's really cool. Next one is trees replaced. Well, I they look they look like trees. Removed recycling of waste. So there's no more of the recyclables on the map. And then reworked, removed starting equipment. So let's take a look at all the starting equipment. We'll go through one by one and see what we got now. Starting with small tractors, we have the New Holland T6175. We have the New Holland T7315HD. Trucks, the Mac Pinnacle 6x4 MP8505. Harvesters, the New Holland CH770. Forester equipment, got the Komatsu 931 XC and the 875. Wheel loaders, a Klaus Taurian 1914. Forklifts, a Manitou MC 18 4. Cars, we have the Lizard Pickup 1986. Trailers, a Rudolph TDK 301 RP. Header for the New Holland. Corn header for the New Holland. Cultivators, we have the K brand Prolander 7500. Cedars, the K brand S Pro. 6000 RC, mowers K brand GMD 4411, windrow, whoops, windrowers K brand Merge Max 950, forge wagons, the Stroutman Zalon CFS 2501DO, balers, the K brand VB 3190, forestry equipment, the Flegel Timber Runner, front loader equipment, we have the Quickie Q5M, front loader tools, the Albert Round Bale Fork and Universal Bucket, Wheel loader tools, the Magsy Log Fork, header trailer for the headers that we have, as well as under miscellaneous, the Bachman MHAL 4320-35 trailer. And that is it for the starting equipment. Now we're going to go back to why I'm bouncing around from the change log and the, and the way it reads. So starting with, we now work with 
will now work with premium expansion. So if we take a look at my screen here, I loaded into the map with all my mods. So if I, you know, go into the build menu here, you'll see I have tons and tons and tons and tons of mods. Okay. Well, the reason I did this is because if I go to crop types two, it says that it works with the premium expansion, but you'll see none of the premium expansions, no carrots, no red beets, no parsnips. They're not here. The reason that they're not here is because I have too many production points that are producing too many outputs in products. So if you run into this where for some reason the premium expansion mod isn't showing up, it's not, none of the products are available to you. Now, if we also look in the crop calendar, there is no red beets, uh, parsnips, or carrots. If we look here in the loadout for prices per 1000, you'll also not see those products in here. Now, what you may see are these, some of the other byproducts that you can create, like the preserved food carrots, parsnips and beetroots, also the triple soup, carrot soup, parsnip soup, red beet soup, and potato soup. Those are all specific to that, uh, to that mod or to that DLC, but I don't have any of the base stuff to be able to make into this stuff because I have too many things loaded into the game and it's just, there's a limit as to what you can have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out, load only the premium expansion and show you that it does work. It is available just because of my specific circumstances. So let's go ahead and do that. So quit. We will go easy and Black Mountain, Montana, remove everything and only load in the premium expansion. So that is right here. And now we'll bring that up. And here we are, we're back into Black Mountain, Montana with only the premium expansion. Now, if we look again, go to crop type two. There you go, look at the bottom there. Red beets, carrots, and parsnips. They are all there. They might not be actually loaded into the map if uh, the map doesn't determine it wants to have it in there, but it does look like carrots are available. And if I jump over here, run across the street, you will see down the bottom right-hand corner, carrots and growing. So it is working, it does do what it says it does, it's just you may have too many things that are loaded into it. And because there's so many products that are loaded on this map just by default, the more mods that you have that are loaded, the more likely you are that's gonna throw this kind of issue or error onto your map. So this is a good way to fix it. Let's see, new fill types added. So if we look at prices per 1000, scroll all the way down. This is also why we cut out of here is because we had so much extra stuff here. So looking at things that are kind of specific to this map for fill types, we have compost, soybean straw, alfalfa, alfalfa hay, black beans, flax, peas, lentils, flax straw, corn straw, asphalt, coal, dirt, gravel, sand, clay, iron ore, pay dirt, crude oil, kerosene, bark, empty pallets, uh, I believe carton roll and paper roll are all parts of the pre, uh, platinum edition DLC. All these are platinum edition. We've got gold, gold bars, firewood, sawdust, pioneer pellets, uh, plywood, potato chips are part of the premium DLC. These are all premium and that is it. So those are all the kind of additions that are in this specific map. And again, it does look like it works well with the platinum edition DLC as well. And then lastly, that we need to color cover is new placeables. So if we take a look at the buildings and scroll over to the right, we'll see all sorts of black mountain Montana things like the workshop here. We go under silos, nothing there. Silo extensions, nothing there. Containers, a couple of black mountain Montana, uh, buying stations here under tools, nothing farmhouses. We do have a black mountain, uh, placeable there under productions. We scroll to the right. We will see premium. Okay. Black mountain. Uh, we got the feed productions, the black mountain biofuels, charcoal production, crude oil production, sawmill, uh, paper and cardboard plant, gold production, gold bar production, pallet and plywood production. So all these are, are placeables 
that we can put in. We've also got selling points here. We've got under greenhouses, nothing, orchards, nothing, generators, nothing, animals. Uh, we've got several of the Black Mountains uh, mod uh, cow barns. We've got horse pastures, pig pastures, sheep pastures, chicken pasture, or uh, chickens. Uh, uh, let's see, nothing for bees and nothing for others under decorations. Let's see if there's anything under here. Scrolling over, and we've got premium whole bunch of premium nothing for black mountain same thing under lights and same thing other under others and then lastly for landscaping uh let's see we've got trees nothing here and plants it doesn't appear anything under plants as well so yeah whole bunch of stuff that has been added now let me just make sure we got through everything work We'll work now with the premium expansion, new animals, we covered that, new fill types added, covered that, replaced animal pens, covered that, new sawmill, covered that, new placeables, uh, covered that, trees replaced, removed recycling of waste, and reworked, removed starting equipment. That's it. We have covered everything for changelog 1.5.0.1. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing. It shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. And that being said... I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.